raised by some about the price of protecting the first family. Let's discuss now CNN political contributor Maria Cardona, Karine Jean-Pierre, the senior advisor at uh, move, MoveOn.org, and CNN political commentators Paris Denard and Andre Bauer. Welcome back, panel. Uh, Maria, you just heard Tom Foreman lay it out between the first lady living in New York uh, to weekends in Mar-a-Lago. The cost of protecting the first family could be epic, but that has always been the responsibility of the Secret Service. So is there anything different now? Well, there is a couple of things different here, Don. First of all, hypocrisy, which is nothing new when it comes to the Trump administration. He's full of hypocrisy day in and day out. He not only lambasted President Obama every time he would go on a trip saying that it's taxpayer money, how shameful it is, that he doesn't spend enough time at the White House, that he's golfing every weekend. And in 2015, he gave an interview to The Hill that he, where he said if he became president, he would rarely, rarely leave Washington, rarely leave the White House. So we now see that that is absolutely not true. But the second thing I think that is a big issue, especially for Trump and his family, is the fact that he has four adult children that also need protection whenever they travel. And that's fine. Like you said, that is something that, that, that happens. It, it is what it is. We have to protect the first family, and, and all of it, including okay. the adult children. But when the adult children are out on business trips, making deals, closing deals, and making themselves rich while taxpayers are paying for it, okay. that is a completely okay. different well, thing. Let me, let me bring the other panel, panelists in here because we have short time. Andre, the Washington Post reports the Secret Service hotel bill for Eric Trump's trip to South America last month was nearly $100,000. Both the President Trump's uh, grown children uh, heading, a golf course opening, heading to a golf course opening in Dubai this weekend. Uh, any concern you think the Trump family's personal business and lifestyle costing taxpayers a lot of dough? Well, you know I'm a fiscal conservative, and so yes, when I heard just a minute ago in your story that 300 people travel with the president, to me, no matter if it's a Republican or Democrat, that seems excessive to me. And somebody ought to look into ways to save money. I, I think the first family needs to be protected no matter who it is, and we could argue, look, Bill Clinton bills the United States government to have Secret Service on his property, which to me seems a little bit crazy. It's legal, but he's the only person to ever do it. But you could go through all of them, of the trips they took, and maybe they shouldn't have taken some of these trips. But at the end of the day, we want the most powerful leader in the world protected. But can we do it in a more prudent and, and responsible way? Hopefully so, and hopefully somebody within this administration will look at it and say, here's where we can save some money, uh, because at the end of the day, the taxpayers are footing an extremely large bill. Yeah, uh, Corrine, you, you say this is hypocrisy? I do. I, I think it's complete hypocrisy. Like uh, Maria was saying, he chastised President Obama uh, for going on vacation, for golfing. And President Obama had less vacation, fewer vacation days than his predecessor, President George W. Bush. I think for me, the thing that bothers me the most about this is the profiting off of the presidency. mar a uh, you know, they, they doubled their initiation fee to $200,000. Um, and also, he never, he actually never let go of ownership of his businesses. So his adult children okay. are traveling, making money for the organization. So I he's wanna, profiting. I want to bring in Paris now. Sorry, I hate to cut you guys short, but I want to get it all in before we have to go. Paris, what's your, what do you think? I think this is fake news. This is, this is not, this is not a news story. Don, Tell me what about it, it is fake, Paris. Oh, We're going to go. Are we going down this road again? Yeah, we are. Come on, Paris. I, I didn't Paris. interrupt any of you all. Let me just tell you why. The president is not breaking any laws, and he's not doing anything. It's not his Okay, fault. Paris, hold on. Let me ask you this. No, 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 no. Let me ask you this. I'm going to let you finish. I'm going to let you finish. Do you actually know what the definition of fake news is? What we're doing right now? No, okay. Well, because then, this well, then, is not then you are story. part of the fake news because you are on I'm the network trying, and you're I, part of the... No, Fake news no, no. is when I'm you... Hang on. Let me explain story. to people out there watching and you what fake news is. Fake news is when you put out a story to intentionally deceive someone and you know that it is wrong. I don't know of anyone who has put out a story in the, the mainstream media that I can think of right now to, that, to intentionally deceive anyone. Now, people get things wrong. Sources sometimes come up empty. But no one that I know has put out anything to intentionally deceive someone. This story that we're doing right now is not to intentionally deceive anyone. We are simply talking about the cost to uh, keep a president safe, the Secret Service there's cause, a, and where the pros under, and the cons, and if there, and as Andre said, and if there are ways that we could, can may be able to work on that to make it 
uh, fiscally better for the American people. There is nothing fake about that. Please stop it with that stupid talking point that it is a fake news story. If you don't want to participate in the news stories on this network, then don't come on and participate. But don't call them fake because you don't agree with them. Go on. Don, this is a fake news story in my opinion because the okay, underlying Harris, thank assumption is Thank you very much, everyone. That- Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Good night, all. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don.